Hey guys, we are here at the New Mexico Museum of Art, and you've probably heard the names Alfred Stieglitz, Marsden Hartley, I don't know, maybe a little artist named George O'Keefe. These are all artists that captured the Southwest in beautiful artworks. We are here checking out the Southwestern allure, and we're gonna check out some of the artwork that was going on before those famous names made the Land of Enchantment famous. Come on. So Mary, uh, of course, when we think of uh, the Southwest arts colonies, initially, I think, George O'Keefe, Stieglitz, all these great artists, um, and Marsden Hartley, you said, right behind us right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. What was the draw? Why were artists so compelled to come to Southwest, and particularly New Mexico? Well, New Mexico had a particular allure of being an exotic and remote location. We forget that at the beginning of the 20th century, northern New Mexico was probably one of the most remote regions in North America, particularly in the, um, in the U.S. Um, so those artists, those modernists you think about, uh, were primarily East Coast based. George O'Case O'Keefe moved here much later. In the early 20th century, there was a push by boosters and the railroad company to bring people, particularly artists, to the Southwest. One person in particular who was a great advocate was Edgar Hewitt, who was the founder of the Museum of New Mexico System, okay. and eventually the founder of the New Mexico Museum of Art, where we are wow. today. So uh, we hear the phrase Santa Fe Arts Colony. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? What do we mean by Santa Fe Arts in Colony? In particular, in this exhibition, we mean uh, artists, living, working, practicing artists in New Mexico from the early 19-teens to the late 1930s. Okay. When you get to the 1930s, there becomes a movement in the Southwest called Transcendentalism, which uh, is a, f a much more spiritual abstraction, much more abstract than much of the work that we see in this exhibition. And the artists we're talking about were very specifically working in Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And uh, of course, we always think of the landscapes, the sky, the wide open spaces. Was that a huge draw for these artists? That, it was out? a huge draw. I mean, there was the attraction of studio space, there was the encouragement of Henry, there was this exotic landscape and a sky unlike anything they had seen before. Many also came for health reasons. So for instance, Carlos Vieira, um, Gerald Cassidy, a number of others in this exhibition came because they had lung ailments and the altitude and the air here were supposed to be quite beneficial. Right. And so uh, would we consider that, that there was great success out of the Santa Fe Arts Colony and during this movement when these artists were flocking here and setting up this artist's colony? Was it a successful uh, venture? Was it a successful time for the arts? Well, it was successful for the creation of a community in New Mexico, for okay. sure. And the legacy of that community continues to this day of, New Mex of Santa Fe, mm -hmm. New Mexico, but Santa Fe in particular as an arts destination. Mm -hmm. So for more information on Southwestern Allure and the Culture Pass, head over to casa.com and click on the Style tab.